Hi, I have a haul for you today. This is from Wrong Wrong. We have part two of her spring release, a couple of sticker books, some pet tapes, and I'm excited to show it all to you. This stuff just launched like right now. So I'll put all the links in the description box. You can also use code Bumble 10 to save 10% off your order at Wrong Wrong. Always appreciate it when you use my link. And also there is a giveaway over there and I'll link that as well down below. You can enter the giveaway to win a $100 gift card on her site. So let's take a look at these sticker books first and then I will show you all the tapes. I haven't swatched these out yet, so got my work cut out for me. <laughs> they look cute though. Okay, so we have two new sticker books. These are amazing. I love Wrong Wrong sticker books. This one is the cat sticker book, and we have some of Plan On It, Michelle's lettering in here. If you saw the dog sticker book earlier that I used, um, this is kind of the companion to that. And then we have Bookworm, which by accident matches my nails. I mean, pretty good, right? Yeah. So if you're a book lover or a cat lover, you're gonna wanna see these books. Let's go. I have not looked at them yet because I like to do these flip throughs and be authentic in my surprise reactions for you guys. I hope that's okay. If you're new here, my name's Mary Ellen. I show you how to plan in creative and functional ways, and sometimes I show you new products, all that kind of stuff. So if you like that kind of stuff, hit subscribe and um, hang out with us once in a while. Just a warning though, my flip throughs can get a little bit snarky and sometimes I make it all about me, not meaning to, okay? Okay. If you like chatty flip throughs, this is the one for you. By the way, if you're new here, my dog's name is Bumble, which is why it's called Planning with Bumble. My name is not Bumble, that would be weird. <laughs> but um, I also have two cats, Wallace and Almond. So I am a cat lover as well. So I'm excited about this book, just as excited about the cat book as I was the dog book. So the first page, we have a couple of cute double boxes here. Look at all those cats in a circle. Look at that one's tail. Oh my gosh, meows it going. Fur mom, we've got a cat over here with the little cactus scratcher, that's so cute. Mealtime stickers. This is a cute color palette, oh my gosh. It's like the dog one kind of, but different colors and different stickers obviously, but look at that cat, he's falling asleep on those books. Cats love to sleep on everything, don't they? They love to lay on planners and sticker books and books and your, your laptop and all the things you don't want them to lay on. They're so frustrating. <laughs> don't forget notes here, Look at those little cat stickers. That's so cute. This is a very, I don't even know what to say about this one. He's a very Parisian cat, right? I feel like very fancy. I love this plaid around the edges. That's so cute. This is me cuddling my kitty cat. Some treat stickers here, appointment. I like cats and maybe three people. Me too. Meow's it going. Every day is Catterday. Lots of puns in this one. Look at this cute sticker. Is this a square? I mean a rectangle or is this cut out? No, it's cut out like that. That is so cute. They're cuddling, you guys. And then we have these little notebooky kind of stickers there. Some flags for you. I love this one. It is so cute, the plaid. This one has little fish bones around the outside. That's fun. Here's your to-do list with the little paw prints for bullet points. Hello weekend. Look at that little cutie pie. Oh my gosh. This is an angry cat. I don't know why he's mad, but he's not happy. And maybe he doesn't want to be on the sticker. I don't know, but he's not happy. That one though, he's pretty happy, I guess. It's hard to tell with the sunglasses. There I am again, a different girl, but it's me. And look at that cat has the bones on it. Interesting. Okay, today's plan here, clean litter box. I need to put one of those on every day of every week. Actually, I, I don't forget to clean my litter box, but it's important to remember. Checklist, cats are my favorite people. But cats aren't people wrong wrong. Come on, cats are not people. I mean, you know, they're as important in my opinion. Santa Claus is coming to town, here to potty. Look at that little girl or boy. Happy birthday. You've got your cat birthday stickers there. Lots of little functional icons here. Feed your cat, you know, um, medicate your cat, treat your cat, all that. 
buy litter, buy treats, brush fur, buy food. I always forget to use these little icon stickers. Instead, I write buy cat food on my list, and it would be so much cuter if I would use a little sticker, wouldn't it? I have to remember that. So we have some little flags here, and then these say important and prayer down there. I love these. I could make a whole spread with just these little cat faces. And you can write on them, too, because they're paper, you know what I mean? Just, like, write your plans on the little cat heads. It's so cute. And all these flags. This is a really cute color combo as well. These are the perfect size boxes, aren't they? They're a good size. They're not too big and not too small. And then we have some little to-do lists with paw prints and cat heads. Another page of these in different colors. And then some strip stickers, which I, you know I love those, right? If you watch my channel, you know I love these. And the plaid is just gorgeous. I love the plaid so much. Okay, those are on paper, and I guess the second half is going to be probably clear stickers. I think they're all going to be clear from here on out, okay? So, we have the angry cat. We have the Parisian cat. We have um, the Santa Claus cat, and honestly, I don't know what to call this guy, but we've got him there too. And then he looks a little mad. Not too mad, though. Look at that tiny little kitten. Oh my gosh. And the little cat toys, those little mice. This looks like my grand cat, Benny. <laughs> and he's such a sweetie pie. We have little cat trees here. Look at those paws. They're like just paws. Where do you put them? I don't know. Maybe on top of a box. But then they're different. So that, that is confusing. I don't know. One at a time. I'm not sure. Look, a little cat snuggle down here. A little cat bed. I don't see any really fat cats in here. I feel like this is not inclusive of overweight cats because Wallace is definitely a big boy, a very big boy, but that's okay. That's okay. Look at that little planter, the cat face on it. That's so cute. Oh my gosh. Wait, that book says the cat's pajamas. And then I think that says mitten. Yeah. That one says Mitten, that one says the cat's pajamas. That's so cute. I love these, they're adorable. And then you have this cute little background. You can cut that out if you want and use it. It matches the rest of it. More of these, look at that one. That, that, there we go, there's a fatter cat. Okay, thanks, wrong, wrong. <laughs> and um, that looks more like Wallace, although Wallace might be a tiny bit bigger than that. I know, I'm working on it, you guys. He is definitely, he definitely needs to lose some weight. We've been working on it for years, but he's a big boy. Look at that cat has heart a heart on it. That's cute. Cats are my favorite people. I'd rather be at home with my cat. You are perfect. Every day is catter day. Cat mom, crazy cat lady. Cat hair don't care. I like cats and maybe three people. More really cute illustrations here. I love the illustrations. Coffee and books, yep. There he is again, grumpy cat. And then we have some clear stickers here that have little words on them. Goals, vet, today, mealtime, groomer, shots due, to buy, appointment, weekend, to do, and birthday. And then playtime, buy more catnip, snack time, buy litter, clean litter box, buy toys, cat sitter, check up. So you've got some black quotes in here that are gonna match any spread, not just the one, the stickers that are in here. Really cute cat sticker book. I really like it. Good job, wrong, wrong. It's a very nice companion to the dog sticker book. And if you saw me use the, you know what? Let me, let me just show it to you right now. That came in part one of the spring release. Let me just show you quick, because it's so cute. I'm not gonna do a full flip through. I'm just gonna let you see it. Because they're like matching, you see what I mean? And this, I've used some already, obviously, but this is the dog one, isn't it the cutest? So it's really similar, but the color palette's a little bit different. And obviously it's dogs and not cats, but yeah. This is a really cute one as well. I'll link this for you too, because you might wanna check this one out as well. Okay, let's move on to the Book Lover sticker book. Well, it's called Bookworm. So, yes. So if you know me, you know I love to read, and so I love sticker books about books, right? Um, there's a cat on the co front cover here, so another cat for you. I wonder if there'll be cats in here, probably. 
Okay, so let's check this out. If you love to read, you'll probably love this book. We have books to read this month up here, book review with the little stars, title, author, genre, date started, date finished. Um, so yeah, a bunch of book review stickers and a cute little bookshop or house with a lot of books. Books to read, monthly check-in, and then these say month, number of books read, finished a series, started a series, read new authors, favorite book, most anticipated book releases. There's a cat. There is a cat there. Currently reading, I love this actually. I really love this. And it has a bunch of different fonts for you, three different fonts. These are cute little doodles. And I love that some of them are in black so they'll match any spread. I have to remember to use these because I do write that in pretty often in my planner. Um, some strip stickers here, bookworm, right? More books, reading, can take you everywhere. That's true. Favorite book quotes. So little doodly boxes here. Fancy ones, like old timey ones, right? That's kind of cute. And then these are more um, modern ones. Yeah. Favorite book quotes. I never write down my favorite book quotes. Maybe I should start. Oh, I like these. These are a bunch of book ratings. Yeah. That's cool. So if you have like a Oh, and then there's blank ones here. You can make your own pages. If you have a um, book planner, like a reading tracker or reading planner, this will be great for you because it has a whole bunch of different stuff for you here. Oh my gosh, what kind of description am I? Whew, wow. Sorry, wrong, wrong. I'm trying to describe things, okay? I'm not doing a good job. <laughs> like, uh. Sometimes it just is like that. What can I say? Books read this month. I like this. I might not be able to fill it up, at least not this month, because I've been listening to a lot of podcasts and doing a lot of like online stuff and less reading this month. I am reading a book, but only reading. I've been reading that one book for a while, so got to get back into it. This book belongs to, so you can put these in your books. I love that. Of course, I use a Kindle, so I won't be using these. <laughs> But I could cut that part off and use the little book with the flowers. I'll be doing that instead. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Is this one big sticker? Oh my goodness. I think it is. Wait. I think it's one big sticker. Are you kidding? That's so cool. Sorry, I'm covering it. Look, you guys. It's one big sticker. That is so cool. I really like that idea. I love big stickers. And you can use this on a currently page. That would be perfect for either a currently page or a reading tracker, right? A separate reading tracker. So fun. You get another one too. Love that. You can write right on those. So then we get to the clear pages here. We have just a whole bunch of books, piles and rows of books in the colors of this sticker book, which I like. A pup and a coffee. They're my two favorite things. You can take this dog and you can... Oh my gosh, you can make him sit in the chair. You could wait, can you? I'm not gonna do it, I'm just gonna pretend. Oh my gosh, you can cut, all right. So you can put him in, <laughs> put him in the chair and then you can take like an X-Acto or scissors or something, cut around it, right like this. And it'll look like he's sitting in the chair because it's like kind of the right size. All right, he's a little big, but you know what I mean? That's so cute because he looks like he's sitting. Oh my gosh, did you do that on purpose? Wrong, wrong, I need to know. Let's keep moving here, my goodness. I get very excited about animals, I'm sorry. I love the lamp, that's really cute. I love all the coffee, the little trays. It's very like bookish, kind of romantic. And we have a little bookstore, cozy bookstore. How come there's none of those in my town? Like Barnes and Noble doesn't look like that. I wanna go to like a cozy little bookshop, you know? I guess I need to move to a city. There's a cat. He's springing off that pile of books. Yeah, and then he'll come right back on and lay on it probably. And another cat up there. We have a little sleeping doggo right there. Cute, cute, cute. I love these little plants. Oh my gosh, more plants. What does that say? Reading will take you everywhere. Book. Look at that cat, he's getting into mischief. That's cat's MO. My weekend is fully booked, haha. <laughs> the book is always better. 
That's the truth. I've never had a movie be better. I know. Proud book nerd. Bookmarks are for quitters. I have too many books, said no one ever. Scroll less, read more. Book nerd. I like big books, and I cannot lie. Just one more chapter. Just a girl who loves books. Books are my love language. Reader's gonna read. If it's, it's not hoarding if it's books. I kind of agree with that, although I've gotten rid of almost every single one of my books. I have some cookbooks, and I have maybe a few nonfiction books, but I've gotten rid of all my books, um, and I used to have a lot because of my Kindle. It saves space, and I move a lot, so, you know. All right, I need to know what's happening here because these girls don't have... Are, are they clothed? <laughs> are they clothed behind their books? We'll never know. We won't know. I am choosing to think that they probably have like shorts on. Actually, I can see a little bit of a pink short there. I think she has, I think both of these have pink shorts on, but that's kind of um, racy, wrong, wrong. What is that? Book lover. Oh my gosh, the little mug on top of the books has a little cat on it. That's so cute. And this girl is living my dream. Just, she's in the library or the bookstore, just, I love libraries and bookstores, I don't know. Um, happiness is a cup of coffee and a good book. I agree with that. Now I want to read. I don't want to work, you guys. Can I stop this video so I can read? No, I have all those pet tapes to swatch. <laughs> oh, man. I want to read my novel, all right? Um, yeah, really cute stickers here. Another page of adorable stickers. These are so cute. And another one. These are all clear. Reading is an adventure that never ends. My weekend is all booked. There's the dog sitting in the chair. See, I told you you could put him in the chair, but you know, the other, this is like more to size than what I showed you before. But anyway, you can do it too if you want. Or you can take one of the cats or the dogs from the cat or dog sticker book and put them in the chair. The options are endless. Okay, we have a lot of these pet tapes. I actually still don't know if they're called pet tapes or PET tapes, but I'm choosing to call them pet tapes in this video. So yeah, anyway, I'm gonna take these right now and I'm gonna swatch them all for you because it's gonna take a really long time to do it on camera. Uh, I could probably do one Let's do one on camera. Let's take this one. Okay, so excuse these holes. I could only find paper that had holes on short notice, okay? Actually, I know where the other paper is, but Bumble's bed is right next to that drawer, like it's in front of it. And whenever I open the drawer, when her bed's right there and she's laying there, she gets upset. So I chose to get the paper with the holes. Someone's vacuuming upstairs story of my life okay so look at this okay I'm not gonna swatch these I lied I'm not gonna put these on paper you can see what they look like so these are stickers sometimes with pet tape they're not already cut out but these are already cut out so I will take one off of here let me just take these books so they are clear and they go right onto the paper like that. They are super cute. So it's like having a billion stickers. Okay, so these are all the ones you get. It starts with this girl, and then it ends again with this girl, and then here's all the ones in between. So super cute book pet tape. I love this. And it corresponds to that sticker book. So you've got stickers for a very long time if you get one of these. They are also cheaper than the sticker book, so that's a good option if you like the illustrations. Okay, um, I am going to open all of these up and then come right back and just do that same thing on each one. Okay, that took a while, but I did it. I opened up all of them. I also measured them and each one is two and a half inches wide. So they're, they're pretty big tapes. Let's just show you one at a time. So I don't know the names of these yet because they have not been released yet as of this filming. 
but if you go to my general link down in the description box, you'll see pretty much everything. I think it's gonna be easy to find. Again, don't forget to use code BUMBLE10. That's really important because you don't wanna miss that 10%. Okay, let's check this out. So this one is butterflies and flowers. Look how pretty that is. That is gorgeous. And again, these are all cut out as stickers. You don't have to cut them out individually, but like, you can make so many spreads with these, right? It's so cute. This next one you might recognize because Rong Rong has a sticker pack like this. And this is one of my favorite sticker packs by her. And let me just show it to you. It's called Enchante. And I used a bunch already because it's so, so cute. But it's like Parisian and just like vintagey, super cute sticker pack, pretty neutral. And this is the designs from that sticker pack. I love that so much. Like the Eiffel Tower, the birds. This is like a vintage girl, like vintagey people. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm sorry, I'm so bad at describing today. A bike, but you know what I mean? It has that vibe that I really think is interesting. It's like line drawings, so that's really fun. The next one I have here is a bunch of fashion girls. Look at them all. Look at them all, so many for you. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So you're gonna get 15 of these girls all dressed in really fancy outfits. They've got it going on, but yeah, you're gonna get 15 of them. At, but you'll get all, well, 15 different ones, obviously, a lot more than 15. It's also worth mentioning that these aren't that shiny. Let's put her on the page and I'll just show you. So in case you're wondering, they're like a little bit shiny. Okay, I'm gonna do this. Does that help? I don't know. It's not so shiny that it's gonna bother me. They do have more shine than a matte sticker, but I don't think they're ridiculously shiny. That's just my opinion. Okay, let's check this one out. This must be from a sticker book and I was looking or like a sticker pack and I couldn't find which one but these are so pretty look at that girl with her lemon dress on carrying the lemons and that girl is she carrying lilacs or hydrangeas I don't know so cute and then it's a bunch of like springtime stickers right we have like a little hat like a bonnet a strawberry this says grit and grace, um, some butterflies, just kind of a mixture of, I feel like, springy type stickers. The next one, and I messed this up, so ignore that, but this one's very fancy. It's very fancy. We have butterflies and florals, and it's more like, um, well, fancy. <laughs> oh my goodness, words are escaping me today. I think. It's like 2.30 and I think maybe I need an iced coffee, my daily iced coffee, which I've been drinking lately. Not good, not good, <laughs> but maybe it's time for my coffee. Okay, so this one you might recognize as well, and this is from this sticker pack, Breakfast at Tiffany's, which is another one of my favorites by Rong Rong. It's so cute, and these ones are so cute as well. So it's a lot of those stickers. Let me just show you the sticker pack really quick. Okay, so cute, right? So here's the designs from that sticker book. We have the little present and the little coffee cup. I just love the color palette because it's only a few colors. I love the black mixed in. Look at the little black dress. So fun. And there's even a cat in there. So you know I'm all for it. Wait, another cat. That's a regular cat, and that is a very fancy cat. That's like a Tiffany's cat. Oh, look, my nails are like Tiffany's. Yeah, not planned, I promise. Look at that, so cute. We have two more here. This one looks very fancy. Let's check this out. Yes, this is another very fancy one with those really pretty florals and the butterflies, just super cute for your, like they would look good in like a vintagey spread too, right? Sort of those colors, I don't know, like that. 
Okay, this is the last one. These are bigger stickers here and they are fall colors. So more like really detailed florals here, but it's a little more moody, right? Just definitely more fall-like, I feel like, but it could also be late summer, right? Um, and you have like a wreath here and the butterflies. So really pretty florals and you get so many of them. So you'll never run out, I feel like. Okay, so that is everything that I have to show you today. And let me know in the comments what you think. I think these are really, really cute. Thank you so much to Wrong Wrong for sending me these items. I really appreciate it. And don't forget to use code Bumble10. I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.